Hello YouTube. I have finally finished my latest diorama and I'm excited to show you guys it. Well, let's get straight into the video. Now, this entire diorama is uh, another one of my alternate history designs. This is the Second Battle of Berlin, or the outskirts of Berlin. Now, the Germans successfully held back the uh, Allied forces while they were trying to attack Berlin and got an entire year to prepare for the next attack. The year is uh, 19, well, the middle of 1946 going into 1947. The Germans finally collected enough steel to build their mighty beasts, the mouse and the E-100. Um, the Americans got wind that a, um, that a convoy of German troops would be heading, uh, would be patrolling down one of the main roads leading into Berlin. And they decided to set up an ambush to take him out. I don't know how a couple of showmans are going to wipe out an E-100, but I mean, let's just hope they succeed. Now, let's get into the actual design. So, starting, the entire mark is designed around the main road. Um, the main road consists of the E-100, um, which you can see in another vid that I made, and a whole bunch of different German troops. And then the main German force is in the middle here, where they're looking at a um, actual map of Germany. This is a full replica of Germany on the map. Then we just have other guys walking around patrolling. Now, what they don't know is that the Americans are hidden in the trees and behind buildings getting ready to attack. Now, before we get into those, uh, there were two broken things. There was a broken showman, a blown up showman, and then a destroyed jeep. This was from um, an earlier attack, where the Germans actually wiped out some American forces, which is why you can see dead troops all around. Now, let's get into the actual troops that are staging the attack. We got a soldier and then like an officer. They are going, the, the, this guy is looking directly at these uh, Germans and are probably planning on shooting them when the uh, signal goes out. There's a guy right here who is getting ready to attack this guy who's on a patrol going around this uh, broken down house. It's a little bit detailed inside. Now moving on to this side, we have a sneaky American here with a bazooka aimed straight at the front of the tank. He's gonna try to blow off the track of it. And moving further back, we have Forrest. We have a medic guy helping a wounded soldier. Uh, some ammo crates, more ammo crates, um, an easy eight lining its sights on the side of the E-100. Hopefully they're, ho hopefully they're loading APCR so they can actually go through the side of it. We got some troops here. We have a really detailed trench. This is one of my best trenches I've made. I use a whole bunch of different techniques that actually make it look nice. And it spans all the way through to the outside of the hill. We got more troops in here. Guys with snipers getting ready to shoot. And things like that. Then we just have like storage in the back here with more ammo. Then moving on to the back, we have some cup, a couple other guys. He's just guarding. He's not actually going to be shooting anything. And then the end of the trench system. And then we have just some storage here and a guy hiding behind the broken jeep, probably to ambush this guy holding the um, MG forty two, I believe it is. Let's get into some more of the final details. Scattered around, we have a whole bunch of just crates, stuff to make it look like it is um, just like old, forgotten. Looks like it's been a there's been a war, which is what it should look like. It should be chaotic of sorts. Fires from uh, 
left over or uh, burning trees and stuff uh, fire coming out of the broken tank as well as fire coming out of the uh, engine of the Jeep we have this guy who is like dead off the side um, uh, yeah a whole bunch of stuff there then we have a couple of Easter eggs we have the um, uh, St. Patrick's Day box, uh, Lucky Charm box, because St. Patrick's Day is coming up soon. And then a spare engine here, um, and just a lot more just stuff scattered around to make it look good. Um, I would have, like, this entire part be grassland, but I ran out of the uh, grass pieces. That's okay though. And then we have a whole bunch of trees. And then maybe like a, this is like some type of a rock formation. When I was building this mark, I wanted it to be three different levels of ground. We have the road that gradually increases in, uh, in height. So it's just like the flat terrain here. And then it moves up a little bit more, more and more. So it's like a graduate incline. Then on this side, we have just like the flat lands and then a broken house, which actually would have looked quite nice if it wasn't all blown up and destroyed. And I added like uh, planks and stuff, wood to make it look broken, but also leave some of that prettiness by adding flowers around it. Then on this side, it immediately jumps up to, an, to a hill and is outlined with like uh, dirt and logs and stuff. Then I used um, a whole bunch of leaves to make like a bush. And then we have the start of the trench or the end of the trench, I guess. Then we have like a lower hill and then immediate jump up to like a higher position of the hill. The hill gradually goes down to the uh, plains where broken jeep is. Um, I like how I designed this part because it looks like the, uh, trench is just like quickly dug up here and ended. That's why it's a different color. And then we just have trees hanging over the trench to hide it a little bit better. Now the Easy 8 itself, um, looks good on its own. I didn't really change that much of it, only, uh, redesigned the toilet a little bit so it actually looked a little bit more detailed and more accurate to the actual thing. Um, I'm planning on doing another vid on the second battle of Berlin, but this time different. Well, next time different. It's going to be the Russians versus the Germans, because I'm planning on getting a lot of Russian troops. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. There are all these uh, Kirby Red Army battle packs. I'm planning on getting those, a couple of them at least. Then the IS-7 Granite, because that would look really good. Two experimental tanks versing each other. The IS-7 versus the E-100. That would be an epic duel. Then we'll have a couple of other tanks supporting it. I may have the German Tiger II on the uh, E-100 side, and then I am probably going to get a um, key 54 for the uh, Russian side because no this is the second battle of Berlin at this time they would already have the T-54 developed or at least the early stages of it um, so we'll have that on the Russian side it'll be an all-out war I may keep the same layout for the uh, for like the hill and the road but I may change it and yeah that's what upcoming things are going to be. I'm also going to do a review of the uh, Tiger 2 I have and some of the customizations I made to it. And maybe review some other sets I have. But for now, that is it. Thank you for watching. If you liked the uh, mock, please give it a thumbs out and uh, subscribe. And yeah, that is it. Thanks for watching. Total out.